All right, it is a uh, very early in the morning, and so I need to make a video. Ooh, oh boy, well, let's do a tier list. Hi right, everybody, uh, welcome on in. We're doing a Dark Souls Three boss tier list. Uh, fun fact for anybody who doesn't know, I I was a Dark Souls Three streamer when I first started. So let's let's do this it's it's a it's a game very near and dear to my heart first off we have abyss watchers i think abyss watchers i'm probably gonna give i'm gonna give them a b to start out with we're gonna start with the main game first and we're gonna go to dlc next so abyss watchers i'm gonna give a b because no nah, i'm gonna give it a, i'm gonna give them an a they're one of my favorite fights in the game the music the actual lore behind them the the fight itself no, it's it's got like it's not like a gimmick fight but like there's a way to fight it it's just really interesting you know red eyes coming out and helping you and everybody's it's like a mosh pit of fighting i, I really enjoy it next we have aldrich devour of gods i'm gonna give aldrich a c because when you think about it the fight is actually going on because of like a black ooze it's like you know devoured gwen so it's not to say that like Aldrich is himself is doing everything, it's Gwen doing all the fighting. There is not a lot of like cool lore behind the fight and the fight's very, you know, you just go up and whack at the thing until it dies, you know. Obviously they're a Lord of Cinder, but uh, I don't know. Not one of my favorite fights. Ancient Wyvern. This fight is cool for like the 30 seconds that you're running to go do the plunging attack, but other than that, it's a very simple fight. Um, nothing really cool about it, so I'm gonna give it a scuffed. You know, it's it's hard to say a lot that's good about this fight because literally all you're doing to end a boss fight is doing a plunging attack. One attack, you know? Alright, so we're gonna skip the DLC for right now. There's no Champion Grave Tender. We have Champion Gundyr. Champion Gundyr, easily an A. One of my favorite fights in the game. I feel like the pacing in that fight is amazing. It's a big step up from Eudex Gundyr, or however you pronounce his name. He punishes you very well. He's a very up close and personal fight, and it just seems like they, they did a really good job, you know? I, I love that fight. Really fun fight. Crystal Sage. Crystal Sage, I'm gonna give a C as well. I don't know. The fight is like, the gimmick is, oh, you know, I can create multiple copies of myself that do damage, but one, they're really easy to tell which one's which, and two, they have one health. So you can throw a throwing knife at them and they're dead. So it's not to say like, oh, I have to keep in mind that there's six copies or four copies or whatever, and I have to dodge out of the way and I have to constantly be looking for attacks coming in. It's like, oh, well, I gotta walk over here and whack this one, and I throw a throwing knife at that one, and then I can go hit the boss. Next up is Dancer. I'm gonna give Dancer a B. Dancer's a really good fight. You know, it opens up so many areas of the map. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool environment that you're fighting in. You know, everything, the, the room goes on fire. She does a lot of spin attacks. It's really interesting. It really tests your ability to like roll properly as well as, you know, just like keep applying damage. I think a B is probably good. Also, the intro cutscene is just really, really cool. Probably one of my favorites. Actually, you know, we're gonna we're gonna give her an A. Because I forgot about the whole intro cutscene where the dude just like cuts his neck and the blood the statue cuts his neck and the blood comes down to the Yeah. Dancer is an A. Next we got Deacons of the Deep. Pretty pretty easily we're just gonna give it a scuffed it's a big mob boss fight and they don't really do anything besides just like magic force you away or they'll maybe once or twice when the deacon actually comes out they'll uh they'll use that thing that can insta kill you but if you just slap him once or twice it stops not really a interesting or innovative fight in any capacity old demon king old demon king you're gonna get a d i would give you an f but if it weren't for the spawn, the, the NPC spawn of Great Swamp Cuculus, uh, you'd be you'd be sitting at an F right now. Fight's okay, uh, not that hard. Not nothing really to say about it. Just not just not memorable. Dragon Slayer armor is up next. I'm gonna get Dragon Slayer armor a B. I think it's a really cool fight. I love how he punishes you. I love how there's like the ever present threat that you can just get knocked off the bridge and you're just gonzo. Um, I wish that those two butterflies on the sides weren't there, but other than that, I feel like the Dragon Slayer armor is a really cool fight. Plus, his gear set is just really sick, so. Next up, we have Curse Rod of Great Wood. I'm gonna give you a D. Uh, the fight isn't anything cool. You know, you just hit the, the pus sacks all over him, and it'll die. 
I don't like the boss fight room. I don't like the ads in the beginning. I feel like they just kind of detract from the fight. Also, it just doesn't feel like a side boss, you know? Like it's a boss in and of itself, but it's like a side boss that's a boss, you know? D tier is all I'm gonna give it. Ayurix Gundir. B. I feel like it's a very f balanced fight. Uh, you go in there and if it's your first time, it's challenging, but as you start playing the game more, it becomes more and more easy, but that's kind of what they're trying to get you to do is to just get that first fight in so you know what a boss is like in Dark Souls. It really sets the tone for the rest of the game. Nameless King fight. Nameless King's probably gonna be another B. It would be an A if it weren't for the first phase where he's coming in on that bird because that bird just kind of discourages you from doing anything until it hits the ground. So you're just kind of walking around dodging lightning bolt attacks until he, the bird hits the ground and then you can just, you kill it in like one cycle. It's not that hard. But uh, the second phase, Oh, the environment, the, the fight itself, the boss, it, it, it feels like an actual boss. If anything, I would rather have him over the Soul of Cinder for the final boss, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Osiris. Let me give Osiris a C. You know, it's just a, a typical walk up and slap the boss fight. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. I do like the lore and all behind Osiris, and the fight seems okay. Like, you know, there's carrying this baby that doesn't actually exist. But other than that, nothing really too cool. The, the, like the area before the boss fight, you know, the Consumed King's Garden, it's really cool, but it's so small. It really is. It's literally just like one small like mezzanine and then you're, it, you're like you're there, you know? Next up we got Pontiff. Pontiff is an easy A. Pontiff is one of the fights that a lot of people will be like, oh, Pontiff is so hard. But then when you beat him, it's like, wow. That was really, that was a good experience. He was one of the first bosses that I ever like parried and now I can parry like consistently. I really enjoy that fight. I think it's really cool. Also, once you beat him, you open up one of the most contested like PvP spots in all of Dark Souls 3. And it's just a really, really, really fun time. Soul of Cinder? I'm I'm gonna give Soul of Cinder a C. I don't know. Like I know it's the final boss and the environment's cool and the the, the audio is really cool, but he doesn't feel like a boss boss, you know what I'm saying? He just feels kinda like a person set up as a boss and it doesn't really i don't know like when you think of bosses i think of like nameless king or pontiff or like fucking yorm these giant big hulking mean guys who are you know they can one shot you. they look like they can one shot you all of cinder doesn't really bring that sort of like that like danger i guess got twin princes twin princes an again another amazing fight twin princes is the first boss that i ever had to like actually get good at dark souls amazing ability to punish you for taking ss at the wrong time really good combination of uh ranged attacks versus up close and personal also i just love the the lore behind them definitely definitely an a if i could give them an s i would next up we got vort vort is a fucking easy b I feel like Vort doesn't really bring too too much to the table, but I I do like his lore. I like that he's like one he's the second boss that you have to fight, and he's he's pretty pretty challenging if you're new, but uh, you know it does get kind of trivial once you figure out his attack patterns. And also if you pick up that gold pine resin in the very beginning, you you can basically kill him after his first cycle. But overall, I think he's really deserving of B because he's a solid fight. You know, like if I have like close to 500 hours in this game and sometimes he still kills me just because i'm stupid or like because he does some ins insane damage i lord Walnir, you are an f i dislike your gas because i don't know when it starts and when it stops and the three bracelets they have to break just kind of stupid i will give you credit though walking up and picking the item and then that starts the but like that's when you see the boss i really like that i wish that they did that more so I'm, I'm gonna give a c I know people are like, why are you giving him like a scuff tier? He's like the easiest boss fight. First off, Yorm is really cool. Like the lore is really cool. The fight is actually really interesting if you if you don't try it with the, the gimmick weapon. And also bringing in the Sigurd NPC. Sigurd's one of my favorite NPCs in Dark Souls. Uh, it really brings everything to a head, especially if you know like their whole lore. So really, really, really cool fight. All right, now we have the DLCs. So, quick disclaimer, <sighs> I don't like DLCs in the sense that their bosses leading up to the final boss are just kind of weak in general. Like, they're not very memorable, they're just kind of like filler bosses because, oh, you know, it's a DLC, we have to make sure that the final boss is really good, but up till then they're like, well, what do we do for bosses, you know? That being said, one DLC is definitely better than the other, and we're going to get into that right now. So we have Champion Grave Tender. Champion Grave Tender, I'm going to give you a, 
the sea, I think. I like the fact that there's the wolf that accompanies the guy in the, the fight. I do like the area that you're fighting, but it just doesn't feel right as a boss. Like if they just had the wolf as the the fight, that'd be cool. Uh, I would rather, I would much rather have that than like the stupid little doinky man who's running around with the giant wolf in the back, you know? Demon Prince. Demon Prince, I'm actually going to give a B. I really like the fight because I do like how the the demons are kind of like coming at you both at the same time. I know one stays back and fires lasers and shit, but it's still really cool. In my opinion, I like how once you kill one, the second one goes into a rage state and stuff like that. And then the third, the third demon at the very end, just really, really, really solid. Sister Freed. Sister Freed, I'm going to give her a C. I know like she's the final boss in the ring city, or, sorry not the ring city, Ash is very indel, but it, do it just doesn't feel like a, a good boss fight, I guess. It's cool how like, you know, she goes invisible and she can backstep and the dad's like banging the pot on the ground and everything, but I just I just can't get behind it too well. Half-Light, Spear of the Church, easy F, easy F. Nobody likes this boss fight. I've seen so many people who as soon as they get into the area where you can get summoned as the boss, they immediately turn their online off because nobody wants to fight in that fight. And if you're not fighting a, a real person when you're going into that fight yourself, you're fighting an AI who's like the easiest fucking thing in the world to kill. It's so useless. It's not. It's just not a good fight. Uh, bringing in a uh, bringing in a player for a boss fight sounds cool, but it's got to be like a good boss fight, not just some doinky halfway boss. You know what I'm talking about? Midir. Midir is 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 tough. I like the fact that Midir has such a cool move set, but at the other and I don't like how Midir is kind of like you have to hit them in one specific area. Like I know there's like critical hits and stuff like that, you know, but it's, it's if you're not hitting Midir in the head, you're not doing any damage. I would recommend obviously fight uh, Midir by yourself. It's going to be so much better than if you fight him with the group because just the amount of health and damage that they get whenever you're in a party, it's not worth it. Just just learn how to fight them. And do it by yourself. I'm gonna give Midir a, a B. Slave Knight Gale. I think you'd be up there with Twin Princes, actually. If I could give an S tier, I would. So A is best I can do. I think the the Gale fight is just really, really, really solid. Uh, the atmosphere of the fight, the lightning coming down while the souls from his cape are coming in on you while he's firing a crossbow that's got like a million bolts. Really cool fight. I give him an A for sure. I'm very happy with how this, this tier list turned out. As you can see, I'm a, a kind of biased. I really like Dark Souls 3. If I had to bring one down, I would say either Abyss Watchers or Dancer would have to would, would maybe get put down, but Champion Gundir, Pontiff, Twin Princess, and Gale are all my favorite. Like they are they're fights that I look forward to fighting, you know? Anyways, that's the tier list. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, let me know. Um I don't normally do stuff like this. I like giving you guys gameplay footage, but if it's something you'd like to see, uh, I'll consider doing more. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next week.